Here we are again, session number seven, improving the back, lengthening the spine, strengthening the back. Um, we're going to add on to the forward folds and the halfway lifts we did, uh, we did in the previous session. We got a little bit of a, a lunge and a crescent lunge too. It's a little bit more strength work here as well. Just be mindful of the back, listen to what your body's telling you, um, and, and be gentle. Be gentle. You know what? It takes a, it takes a little while to uh, to improve and, and to strengthen. We'll just take it one step at a time. But before we begin, improve the breathing, deepen the breath. Right hand through to the belly. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Feel the shoulders even start to drop. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Continue to breathe just through the nose. Breathe into that hand, breathe into the right hand, filling it like a balloon, then letting it deflate. Once we move into the deepening breath, the noise of our mind, the, the, the thoughts, the, the constant chatter that happens up here, it's a little bit quiet, just a little bit, just a little bit quieter, and then we can concentrate on what the body can do as opposed to our mind telling us what we can't do. So we pur purposeful, purposeful with the breath, but mindful with the body. Just take two more, all the way down to the bottom of the lungs. Slowly and deeply. To begin, I'll come through to the top of my mat. I'm going to bring the hands through to the chest, through to the sternum. On the inhale, we sweep the hands high. Extended mountain pose. Remember those shoulders. Shoulder blades attached to the upper back. Exhale, soften the knees, hinge at the hips. Come down into forward fold. Bottom ribs connecting through the upper thighs. Release the head. Let the head hang. From here on the inhale, hands come through to shins, even knees, but flatten the back and reach the crown of the head forward. Straighten the backs of the legs. Slowly release, exhale, bring the hands back down to the mat, soften the knees. We're going to step our right foot back. So this is our low lunge. The right hip coming forward. The pelvis, the whole hips moving down towards your mat, even bending that back knee a little bit. But we want to, we don't want to hunch and, 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 and round the back. We want to lengthen the spine. So even pressing into the hands or lower the back knee, you bring the hands a little bit further back or even up to the knee. And notice the shoulders roll back, the chest moves forward. We can lengthen through the spine and reach that heart. Bring that chest forward and roll the shoulders back. From here, natural progression, we're going to start extending the hands high. Reaching the hands into our crescent lunge. Are the hands reach? But once again, inhale, I'll show you the difference. Inhale, lift the shoulders. Exhale, drop the shoulders down the back. Inhale to reach. Inhale, bring the arms back into the shoulder socket. Now that's where we want them to stay. We want them to stay moving down the back. And feel the shoulder blades suction cup onto the back. And then you slide them down. Slide them down. Good. Bring the hands down either side of the front foot. Press back through your downward dog. Just walk out the heels here, lengthening through the back side of the body, lower back, shoulders, hamstrings, calves. But keep pressing back through those shoulders, bending the knees, press back through the shoulders, hinge and lift the hips, keep the shoulders where they are, and lower the heels down one at a time. We're going to slowly come down to the knees. This time we're going to bring the right foot forward. The 
find our low lunge. So remember, you can be up on the toes here. Pull the shoulders back, pull the heart through. We can lower down to the back knee. Bring the hands through to the knee. And just pulling that chest through. And we should feel a nice opening through the hip flexor on the left. A little bit of uh, through the groin and through the, uh, through the thigh on the right. Just let it release. And then we can sweep the hands into our crescent lunge. And try and take the, the chest, try and take the chest up to the sky, up to the roof, but don't drop in the lower back. Keep the back long, any type of a, and we always want to keep that spine long. So reach on the inhale, reach through the spine. Exhale, you may just tip back slightly, but keep the chest lifted. Keep the heart moving towards the ceiling. Good. Bring the hands back down either side of the front foot. Step back through downward dog. All right. Now that's basically what we're going to do. So. Uh, so we're going to do exactly the same as that. We'll move through a full sequence. So I'll come back up. We'll come back up through to bend the knees, gaze between the hands. Come back through to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And then slowly roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Unravel. Bring your hands high. And come back down through. Through thumbs through the chest. We do exactly the same, but we're going to do it in a flow. We do exactly the same movements. So come through to the top of your mat. Find your mountain pose. Remember, toes lifting, kneecaps lifting, quads activated, pelvis in through to neutral, pointing down at your mat, belly button tucked, shoulders open, chest opens, palms shoot forward, and reach through the crown of your head. Breathing deep into the belly. Inhale, we sweep the hands high, shoulder blades move down the back. Exhale, forward fold, bring the hands through center, soften the knees, release the hips, let go of the head, all the way down. Inhale, hands to shins, flatten the back, reach through the crown. Exhale, release the hands to the mat, step the right foot back into your low lunge. Start up on the fingertips on the toes, or if that's too much, lower down to the back knee. Untuck the toe. Either way, we slowly inhale, sweep the hands high. Pressing down through the feet, but lifting, lifting through the core, lifting through the fingertips. Hands come back down to mat. Step back through downward dog. Walk out your heels, just a few breaths, release to the hamstrings. And then we're going to step the right foot inside of the right wrist. Now I'll show you a different, a different way. So basically to bring that right foot forward, you can lower down the knee and just walk the foot forward absolutely fine. If you'd like a little bit more, bring the knee to the chest. The weight comes over the front wrist, chest comes in between the thumbs, and then you step down with a heel into your low lunge. Ground through the feet, and once again, either on the toe in the back, or lower down onto the heel. But making sure the ankle and the knee are in line. So we don't want to see, we don't want to see this. That just puts pressure on your knee. Your knee doesn't need that. It's not going to help it, truthfully. So make sure you've got at least 90 degree angle here. Maybe even pressing up and let that pelvis sink down. Sweep the hands, lift the chest, but shoulder blades down the back. Good, hands come back down to mat either side. Press back through downward dog. Now gazing between the thumbs, soften the knees, walk the feet forward. 
Toes in line with fingers, release the head, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten the back, reach with the crown. Exhale, forward fold, now keep the knees bent, slowly rolling up the back, hands moving up the legs, unfurl the shoulders and the, the neck, reach the hand high, and then bring them back down on the exhale, thumbs back through to sternum, back through to chest. Good. Once again, deepening the practice, making a little bit stronger moves with our crescent lunge, with our, with our lunges. Um, as well as our forward folds and our downward dogs, which are going to lengthen um, the spine. So being gentle with those, but adding a little bit of strength, making sure we're lifting with the chest as opposed to dropping the lower back. That's the last thing we want. So well done today. Look forward to seeing you next time. We're going to add a little bit more to that as well. Come of our stronger warrior poses. Once again, we can um, be very mindful about how we're doing them and, and listening to how the body feels. But well done for today, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the mat real soon. Take care.